Oppo Reno 8 Pro Review The Oppo Reno 8 Pro has a powerful processor, a good-looking display, and fast charging capabilities. However, some may not be pleased with the display's quality and user experience, and more competitive options may be available at the same price point. Upon closer inspection, the Oppo Reno 8 Pro does not meet expectations. The phone is available in two colors, black and light blue. It has a glossy finish, which minimizes the visibility of fingerprints, though some smudges may still be visible. The rear is designed using a unibody structure with a pronounced camera bump. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has a noticeable bump and large black circles which contain smaller lenses, giving the handset a similar appearance to the S21 Ultra. The phone is equipped with a USB-C port for charging, but it does not have a 3.5mm headphone jack, which could be an issue for audio enthusiasts who prefer wired connections. The power button is located on the right edge of the phone and is easily accessible with medium-sized hands. The volume rocker can be located on the left edge. The edges of this phone are flat, rather than curved, which can be uncomfortable when holding the device as the sharp angles dig into the palm. This phone is relatively large, so you will need to stretch your hand to comfortably use it. The ergonomics of the Oppo Reno 8 Pro didn't appeal to us and it wasn't comfortable or easy to use. The Oppo Reno 8 Pro features a large 6.7-inch display with a minuscule front camera punch hole and thin bezels that give it an increased sense of space. This AMOLED screen features Full HD Plus resolution and 120Hz refresh rate, which are comparable to other devices at this price point. The Reno's display was commendable, making it one of the better phones in its price range for streaming media or gaming. The display includes a fingerprint scanner which proved to be highly responsive and reliable. This is a trait not typically shared by all premium phone makers. The Oppo Reno 8 Pro does not have the same camera or design capabilities as the Pixel 6, which is its same price rival, but it provides more powerful features. The Reno contains the MediaTek Dimensity 8100 Max chipset, an upgraded version of the Dimensity 8100. It is a powerful chip that does not quite match the performance of high-end A16 Bionic or Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chips in some premium phones, but it is sufficient for most purposes. In testing, the MediaTek chip had enough power to perform all tasks without problems, ranging from playing games to recording video and downloading multiple files simultaneously. This phone offers 256GB of storage, which is considerably more than the typical 128GB found in other devices. This provides ample room for apps or downloads. The Reno phone supports 5G networks, however, connection speeds will vary depending on other factors and are not directly related to the phone itself. The Reno 8 Pro has a large display, 5G connectivity, and sufficient processing power, yet still offers a respectable battery life. The 4500mAh battery of this phone is average for a device of its size and price. Other phones with larger batteries have a similar battery life which implies the Oppo software has been optimized efficiently. The Reno was tested to provide a full day of use without requiring a recharge and could reach midway into the second day with medium usage. Gaming activities are expected to deplete the battery faster. When the battery is low, it takes approximately 30 minutes to charge from empty to full with an 80 watts charger from the box. While some mid-range devices may have a quicker charge time, 30 minutes is sufficient for most users. The Reno 8 series features Oppo's battery health engine, which utilizes optimizations to prevent battery health degradation caused by extended periods of high power draw. One optimization is analyzing when the user usually wakes up and replenishes the battery at this time. The device's battery health features may prove beneficial for individuals that keep their phones for long periods of time, though the testing period required to confirm this is considerable. In the short term, we have observed that at times it can be inconvenient as the phone may opt for a slower charging process despite wanting to quickly power it up. This phone does not have wireless charging, which is to be expected given the price.